and he's good. Ah! Oh, I'll say, what a team! Hi, <laughs> Walter, look what you've done to our ball. Your ball? Look what you've done to our clothes. Yeah, well, whatever, Walter. <laughs> How dare he? I'll whatever him. Hand me the bumper book of rules, Bertie. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh -huh. as I thought. Uh, Mr. Balls, there's an emergency at the football field. Oi! What's this all about? Oh, I was having my lunch. Dennis is blatantly breaking the rules about playing football in the park. You called me down here for that. But it clearly states that when playing soccer in Beano Town Park, Rule 67A, dogs may not play in goal. It's the rules. Rules? This is my park and I make the rules. But... Uh... That, that, this grass is for playing football. So if you're not playing, get off! Well said, Parky. Maybe your lot should play a bit more sport instead of poking your noses into other people's business. I don't know. Here we come round. Well, I never. Walter, play footy. <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's not like you know anything about football. <laughs> I know plenty, actually. I could play if I wanted. Yeah, right. Of course you could. <laughs> uh, right. I will. In fact, my team will take on yours next Saturday, right here. OK, you're on. Right. And the rules are, uh, most runs wins. Goals is how it usually works, Walter. <laughs> uh, Walter, uh, we can't play football. I believe it's called soccer. And whatever it takes, we will win. First, we study the enemy. Oh, some save, Nasha! OK, boys, let's take a break. So, what do you reckon, then? Walter's team will be a pushover, won't it? Should be, Curly. But you know Walter. He's always got some sneaky scheme up his sleeve. Well, I may not know much about soccer, but even I can see that Nasha's good. What have you found out? Well, apparently, it is goals, not runs. And the chap who scores most of them is called a striker. So I suppose we need one of them. Anyone for one of Butch Butcher's veggie sausage bites? Don't worry, Dudley. I'll find us a striker. And you've just given me an idea how to solve the Nasher problem, too. <laughs> uh... What are we doing, Walter? I found our striker, the school new boy, David Peckham. Oh, hi, David. Ready for the trial? Uh -huh. oh, that's good enough for us. See you next Saturday. Uh -huh. Right, we've strengthened our attack. Now to weaken their defence. <laughs> All right, boys. Practice makes perfect. When you're ready. Ugh. Two, uh, three. Ugh. Best goalie ever. No matter what tricks Walter pulls, we can't lose. There you go, Walter. Five dozen super fat sausages, double cooked in fat. Thanks, Mr. Butcher. They look. Perfect. Uh, you've got enough there to feed a football team. Or at least a goalie. Nasha! Oi! Who did that? <laughs> We're supposed to stop it! <laughs> That's right! Eat up, Nasha! <laughs> Almost caught by...
my slipper in, Asher. <laughs> I guess you're just getting old. <laughs> Don't worry, boy. I'll always love you, whatever happens. <laughs> Hi, Nasha. Ready for fun? Something's not right here. Still a few more days to the match, and by that time, Nasha will be the size of a rhino! <laughs> First facts, then. He's definitely slowed down. And it's not long to our match with Walter. Curly, we could beat Walter and his mates with our feet tied together. Yeah, but like you said, he might have something sneaky up his sleeve. Don't worry. Nasha's still got it, haven't you, boy? <laughs> Oh. Come on, old pal. Do your stuff. <laughs> oh, Den, this is bad. Hey, Walter, ready to give up yet? Give up? <laughs> I don't think so. Mind if I have a go? Golly, is that a girl? <laughs> Pyphis, you're right. This is bad. What is it, boy? Are you feeling ill? <laughs> hey, get off, Soppy. <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> Sorry, Nasha, it's not your fault. Everyone knows you're a sucker for sausages. You go ahead. You could do with some fresh air. I'll uh, <clears throat> catch up with you. Thought. 104% fat. Bon appetit, Nasha. <laughs> no, Nasha, you can't. Be strong. <laughs> That's my boy. Now, let's concentrate on getting you fit again. Sneaky. Poor old Nasha couldn't resist. But he's given them up and we've done some intensive training. <laughs> so, he's back on form now. Hang on. That's a new kid, David Peckham. I told you Walter would do something sneaky. Ah, oh, Dennis, you've met our new striker, David Peckham. And how's your star goalkeeper? Fine, thanks. In fact, he's as fit as a butcher's sausage. Oh, uh, I mean dog. Oh, yes. Uh, of course. Well, why wouldn't he be? Huh. Still, I bet he's not fit enough for this. Uh. <laughs> Is that all your striker's got? You did it! <laughs> nice try, Walter, but nobody messes with our goalie. What? You knew? Of course I did. Nasha's my best friend. <laughs> 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 Now. 
Asher, the tickets for the wrestling tonight are way out of my allowance range. Oh, we're going to miss the Mr Magnifico fight. Mr Magnifico? Is that an animal, vegetable or mineral? Definitely animal. Oh, Mum, he's the best wrestler in the tag team universe. Pie Face and Curly are going. Could I have an advance on me allowance to get a ticket too? Please. <sighs> Dad? How much are these tickets? Uh, they're only... How much? But it's a once-in-a-lifetime chance to... The answer's no, Dennis. N-O spells no. Oh, come on, Nasha. It's not fair, Nasha. Everyone's going to see Mr Magnifico wrestle tonight. Including me. What? You? Yes. It's the perfect place to try out my new moves. <gasps> you have moves? First aid moves. I'm a bandage master. <laughs> First class. <laughs> bandage. I knew you couldn't be a wrestling fan. Wrestling? <laughs> Certainly not. I shall be attending in my capacity of... Junior First Aider! With your mum. <gasps> mum? Why didn't she say something? I've only just heard myself. These are the backstage passes from First Aid HQ. Brilliant! Looks like we're going nowhere! These are for First Aid badge holders only. But what? Where do I get a first aid badge? You don't just get a badge, silly. You have to earn it by passing your first aid test. Test? OK, I'll do it. I mean, how hard can it be? <laughs> Dennis volunteering to take a test? This I've got to see. So, down to business. When, where and who's the judge? That will be me. <laughs> you? Oh, come on, Nasha. We'd better get some practice in. Are studying over. Let's go get that badge. Shall we begin? Dennis, one needs a basic knowledge of anatomy to pass this test. Can you point to the pelvic bone? There. The pelvis has left the building. <laughs> well done, Dennis. Thank you very much. Everyone's entitled to one lucky guess. OK. Where's the clavicle? The radius? The carpal? The metatarsals? The... Hey! Where's the skull? I think that's enough academic testing for today, Walter. Let's move on to the practical tests. Did you learn all that at school? <laughs> no, Dad. Living with a bone magnet like Nasha, you can't help learn a lot about bones. <laughs> Let's see how good you are at dealing with a practical test. Bring it on! You stand in as the patient. Me? But I just my Oh, all right. OK, Dennis. Let's imagine the patient has sprained his ankle. What do you do? I know what to do, Mum. Lots of kids get sprained ankles in football practice. Especially when you're playing. OK, Dad. Time to elevate your foot. And... Apply a cold compress. Coming right up, Nasha. <coughs> Ouch! Ouch! Frozen fish. Frozen sausages. <coughs> Rolls and chips. That should be enough now, Nasha. Let's go. All done. Thanks to you, Nasha. Hey, where's Nasha? Where do you think? <laughs> Mm. Huh? <laughs> Your patient.
patient is suffering from heat stroke. What do you do to help? Uh, cool him down? Well done. Yes, but how exactly? Easy! Nasha, jumper! <laughs> Remove excess clothing. And douse with water to cool. Job done! Uh. Hmm. He appears to have fainted. Fainted? We must get the blood flowing back to his head. <laughs> I'm on it, Mum! Dennis, Walter's marking the test, not me. You mean I really failed? Unless you can prove to Walter that your bandage techniques are good enough. Yes. I'll be ready to go to the wrestling right after tea. Here's your pass. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Remember, practice makes perfect. <laughs> Come on, Nasha. We've got some serious practicing to do. Hey! What about me? Oh. <laughs> that, that. <laughs> Coast clear, Nasha. <laughs> right, Nasha. Time for the first aid showdown. Right. Earplugs to drown out all the screaming and shouting. Extra safety pins, extra plasters, extra strong smelling salts. I understand the ringside can get a bit hot and bothered. <laughs> Phew! It's showdown time, Walter. Meet the fastest bandager in the West. <laughs> If I win, I get my badge. And if you lose, I won't. Huh. We'll see about that. Hmm. Not bad for a beginner. <laughs> Beat that! I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> now that's what I call good bandage technique. I reckon I'd pass now, don't you, Walter? <laughs> all right, all right. You pass the test. You get your badge. Yahoo! Mr. Magnifico, here we come! <laughs> what about me? Eyes on the audience, not the entertainment, Dennis. Remember, we're here to watch the crowd, not the wrestling. No! No wonder they let us in for free. What a disaster! We've got ringside seats and I can't even watch my hero wrestle. Oh. Uh, sorry, kid. Uh, no problem, <laughs> Mr. Magnifico. Uh, payback time! <laughs> <laughs> And 
now we go live to Beano Town Park Racecourse for the afternoon's racing. Hussy! Hussy! There! Yes, Bee, it's a horsey! <laughs> Why don't you go and play in the garden with your hobby horse? Dennis will help you. Dennis! <laughs> Hersley? And here's Dennis. One shot away from glory. What do you think of that, Bee? <laughs> and don't bring her back until you've made it up to her and she's calmed down! <laughs> Gran, what's all that crying about then? I could hear you a mile away. I broke Bee's hobby horse and I'm trying to find her a new one. Oh, well, that's all right then, isn't it? Oh, what's all that fuss about, eh? Poor little Bee. Oh, she is in a mood. That's because nobody's got any. Hobby horses. We've been walking round the shops for hours. And Dad says I can't bring her back until she's calmed down. Dear me, you are in a pickle. What are you going to do? I don't know. Ah! Huh? Hang on. I've been thinking. Uh, riding hobby horses is really for little babies. Baby? Yes. And you're a big girl, aren't you? How would you like to ride on a real horse instead? Real horsey? Gran, can you look after B? I've got a plan. <laughs> We're horsey. Any minute. Now, love, Dennis is just bringing him. Why do we have to do this? Because we're mates, Curly, and mates help each other out, right? <laughs> now, remember, you've got to convince her you're a real horse, so no talking or mucking about, OK? OK. <gasps> Hussy! Hussy! That's right! Told you I'd get you one. Nay! B! No! Hussey! Joy! <laughs> hey, what you doing letting that child fill up all this grass, eh? And who said you could bring that animal in here? Come on, Parky! Anyone can see it's not a real one. All of you, out of the park! <coughs> oh, this is a stupid idea, Dennis. What's in it for us, anyway? Come on, Curly. We're making Bee happy. What could be better than that? How about a pie? OK, let's just give her a ride and you can have any pie you want. OK? Now wait here while I go and get her. Oh, oh yum. Pieface, where are we going? OK, angle of inclination, seven degrees, wind speed, about three knots south southwesterly. Very good, Father. Stand aside, please. Uh, uh. Oh, Father, you must take more care. We're horsey. 
With him, has he? Okay, I'll uh, I'll keep a sharp lookout. Oi! <laughs> right. into any more trouble. Well, see. <laughs> Hang on a minute, love. I'll just go and see. <laughs> oh, never mind, Dennis. You did your best. But what am I going to do about B? I still can't take her home. <gasps> B! Horses and riders allowed through this entrance. But my little sister's in there. You've got to let me through. You think I'm stupid or something? Now either show me your horse or I'm going to have a word with that policeman. OK, Gran. Let's get the horse. So, here they are, under starter's orders for the final race of the day, the Beano Town Classic. And they're off with the favourite moving straight to the front, ridden by... Oh, 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 there seems to be a change of rider. Heavens! Time on the I know jockeys are small, but that one's absolutely Ooh. tiny. Ooh. Can't be much bigger than B. <laughs> Wait a minute. That is B. And that's Dennis. Hang on, B. We're coming! Wheelie, Gran! Now, there's something very strange going on here because I don't recognise that horse at all. And now there's a police car. What an extraordinary race this is! Faster, Gran! And now there's a dog on the track. Yes, <laughs> And as they approach the final fence, they're neck and neck. It's anybody's race. I'm here, <laughs> Faster, Gran! Side. At least B was happy, even if we did have to sell the car to pay for the damage. I don't know. I don't miss it that much. And think of the money we're saving by not having one. You all right in there, Dennis? Yes. And you, Gran? Yes. Jolly good. Off we go, then. Giddy up! Hey, <laughs> I 
like a pile of junk now, but it'll soon be the best BMX course ever! We'll build it right over there! Hang on! What's that? Party don't start till this afternoon. Eh? Whose party? Oh, Athena. I might have guessed. It's my summer party, Dennis. Didn't you get the invitation? Was it in a glittery pink envelope? Like, yes. Lavender scented. Nasha ate it. <sighs> Everyone got one. Uh, I thought it was junk mail. I dropped a pie on mine, and then Nasha ate it too. Well, you were all invited to come and see me mix with A-list supermodels and it girls. And DJ Crazy will be laying down some banging tunes. Yes! It's going to be the Beano Town event of the year! That's tough, because we're building a BMX Assault Course Challenge right here, right now. What? You can't! We can! No! I forbid it! You can't do BMXing near my party! Just you try and stop us! This means war, Dennis! to Athena's party? No a chance, Walter. Oh, phew. Thank goodness. I wouldn't want you lowering the tone. Oh, that hammering is so annoying! Oh, so lovely to be invited to a proper grown-up party. You're very early, Walter. I thought you might need some help to get the party going. <laughs> So, I bought you a CD of Mongolian throat singing. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Perfect. This'll drown out Dennis. What's that howling? Is someone hurt? Oh. It's not us, Den. What she makes of this. The Din Makers full blast all the way up to 11. <laughs> ha! You can't get rid of us that easily, Athena. <sighs> should be doing this, Athena. Health and safety, you know. Who cares? I have a balloon crisis! Get blowing! Oh, right you are. Pipe is scary. 
scary. Oh, I need pie to calm me down. Oh, that's better. How long do we have to stay at this party, Keisha? Until the little hand points to the twelve, I think. We better be the only glamorous, good-looking people there. Oh, that must be it. Hello? Is this the party? Sorry, this is an exclusive event. <laughs> exclusive? That's my middle name. <laughs> Come on, girls. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> what is this music? Shipful crash car. You'll have to change it. And we'll need canopies. And some spectacular entertainment. I don't think so. What? Oh, nobody says no to us. We're a list. Like we care. <gasps> this is strictly for BMXs. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> we have suspected naughtiness at Beano Town Park. Uh, I'm in the park now. Uh, out. Oh, where did they go? Aha. And it all hinges on this final penalty kick. He shoots! <laughs> Takes the ball! Oh no! <laughs> do What the dickens is going on, Slipper? Well, it's that Dennis, sir. That child, Dennis? All this is the work of a child? Well, he's no ordinary child, sir. Uh, run me ragged for years, he has. I think it's time you had some help to catch him. A splendid trainee of mine from police college. Smashing fellow. He's sharp, efficient and has legs like tree trunks. Sergeant Slipper, I think it's time I introduced you to Sergeant Boot. Come on, Nasher. Let's skate. Whoa! Wow! What was that? <laughs> Someone's taken the wheels off. <laughs> Who are you? Boot, Sergeant Boot. Oh, good. I think someone's stolen the wheels from a skateboard. I know, I did. Health and safety. Skateboards cause damage to public property. Now, empty your pockets. Oh dear, very dangerous. It's a yo yo, it's just a toy. <laughs> Yo-yos used irresponsibly also cause damage. Danger neutralised. Now, we must examine all your possessions for possible hazards. Good. That's all the dangerous stuff. Though, this dog is an Abyssinian tripound, is it not? Riddled with fleas they are. He'll have the whole town scratching. Better put him in quarantine, just to be safe. Put, 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 put. Wait! Come back! Nasha! What kept you? Nash is in trouble. We've got to help him. Boot confiscated our wheels. And the seats. And my little silver bell. Never mind that. Come on! Wait, Mr Ha Ha. Don't close up yet. We've got to mount a rescue operation to get Nasha back. No children allowed in joke shops. Order of me. Boot, where's my Nasha? Locked up, horrible flea bag. Don't you dare say that about Nasha. On your way, or I'll run you in for aggravated cheek. <coughs> Congratulations, Boot. All these fine arrests. Outstanding. No tennis, though. Only a matter of time, sir. As soon as he steps out of line, he's mine. Get out there, Slipper, and if you can't measure up to boot, then that's what I'll be giving you. The boot. Get it? Nah, the boot, Slipper. But I've already got boots, sir. Out! Poor Nash is in a cage, and it sounds like Sergeant Slipper's boss wants to give his job to boot. Well, I'll fix him. Look out! Shall I compare the... Come on now, break it up. We're just reading poems. It's a front for mischief. From now on, no children will be allowed to congregate in groups larger than... one. What about chess club? <laughs> That's harmless enough, surely. Too dangerous? Well, we just sit on chairs. Chairs mean danger. What about drama club? Out of the question. And safety club? Far too dangerous. But it was Sergeant Slipper who set up the safety club. Well, I think it's safe to say Old Slipper will be looking for a new job now I've single-handedly cleaned up Beano Town. Now go. Trouble with Boot, Walter? Yes. He's a rotten spoil sport. Almost makes you miss Slipper, doesn't it? Oh, yes. Such a polite, charming man. <laughs> OK, don't overdo it, Walter. But, yeah, Slipper's all right. And now Boot's after his job. Oh, my. Who's in charge of Beano Town? Yeah, if only old Slipper could show him up, catch a few criminals of his own. Not very likely, though, is it? Maybe he could do with a little bit of help. What do you say? 
Well, just this once. Thanks for these, uh, walkie-talkies, Mr. Ha-Ha. Fox One, you ready? Uh, Foxy Fox Man One, ready? Now remember, Pieface, you're trying to get Sergeant Flipper to catch you. Gotcha. Oi! Stop that! Now, uh, I'm fairly certain that's littering. Oh, my tail's fallen off. Right, you. <laughs> You're... <laughs> oh. Fox One, did Slipper catch you? Uh, oh! Ow! Not exactly. Littering, eh? Naughty boy. Fox One, Fox One, hello. Fox Two, come in, you ready? Yeah, Fox Two ready. Uh, uh, hey, what's this? Uh, vandalism, eh? Yep, on purpose. Oh, dear me. Oh, I'm going to have to book you, Curly. Now then, uh, where's my notebook? Um... Sergeant? Ah, no excuses. Oh, ow! Did he get you? Not quite. Vandalise the mare, will you? Into the van. Fox 3, come in. Yes, Fox 3. Oh, my. I hear footsteps. Sergeant Slipper's coming! Oh! Sergeant Boots! Oh, Walter. You're a long way from Safety Club, aren't you? a mess. But you still have Fox 4, don't you? Of course! Fox 4! Go! Ow! Oh! Oh! A rogue biker in the high street. All units to the high street. Over. Aha! A proper arrest! <laughs> I arrest you in the name of the law. Sergeant Slipper, I've met me match. I'll come quietly. No, you don't, Slipper. He's mine. <laughs> Dennis, I suppose this is your doing. No, sir. I can explain, sir. I have subdued a dangerous rogue biker, sir. What's this? Oh, I was having some trouble controlling my mobility bike, you see. And a policeman was helping me. <laughs> and then this thug left on board. But, sir, she's a menace, a dangerous criminal. <laughs> she's only a little old lady. Indeed. Looks like you've been working too hard, Boot. Oh, here comes that nice policeman now. Such a kindly, polite gentleman. What happened to the rogue? Thanks for helping me, Grand Slipper. Yes, good lad, Slipper. My apologies, madam, uh, and to you, Dennis. Uh, I leapt to conclusions. Now, see the lady home, Slipper, while I have words with Boot about this great big hole in my police station. Catch you later, Fox Four. <laughs> <laughs> what are you two grinning at, eh? You look like best friends. Friends? Really? You'd hardly expect me to associate with a common lout like him, would you, Sergeant? And I definitely don't play with big wussies like him. No. No, of course you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too, pal. Good to have you back. I must admit, the place hasn't been quite the same without your hairy friend. <laughs> Although, he still hasn't learned any manners. <laughs> everything back to normal, eh, Walter? Hmm, yes. Everything back to normal. <laughs> Class, before we finish our science lesson, it's homework time. And I want you all to design and make something useful. Pie face, what are you going to make? Uh, 
A pie-making machine? Curly? A boomerang ball. It always comes back. <sighs> Walter? A clockwork tin opener, Mrs Creature. Oh, I was hoping for something a little more imaginative from you. N no, wait. What I meant to say was... A robot! Yes, a robot to help keep the house and garden tidy. <laughs> Wonderful, Walter. And Dennis, what are you going to make? A robot! And I had the idea first. Never mind who had the idea first, Dennis. You and Walter can both make robots. <laughs> well, we've used up everything in here, Nasha. But we're still short of a few vital parts. What? I could have sworn it. Ah, just that ticket. Speak and span. What? Who? How? Dennis! So, uh, finished making your robot yet, Walter? Actually, I sent my design to a friend of father's. His factory people built it for me. <laughs> oh, perfect timing. He's arrived. Dennis, meet Walter Bolt. <laughs> wow. I, I mean, uh, what a pile of junk. Wait till you see my robot. Hey, Denbot! <laughs> Interesting. What do you think, Walter Bot? Sensors indicate 15% rubber bands and paper clips, 85% rubbish. Recycled parts, actually. And anyway, that tin can may look good, but what does it do? I am programmed to execute garden and household chores, from digging to dusting. A dusting robot? Very cool. My robot's programmed for fun. Denbot, build a skateboard ramp. Skateboard ramp. Easy peasy. Wow! That's cool! Denbot rocks! Denbot rocks! Bot. This is just the sort of thing he's programmed to deal with. Close. Finished. Fantastic. Thank you, Walter. And as for you, Dennis, I'll want a word with you when I get back. I'll teach that jumped up rust bucket. Hey, where's he going now? To paint your treehouse. <laughs> Right! This is war! Ready? Steady? Fire! No delays! Must complete task! Emergency! 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 
too! It's... it's a Walter Den bot! You mean a Den Walter bot? Hang on, where's it off to? My school to school! School is good! School is good, eh? It takes after you, all right. Come back! There's no school on Saturday! No school on Saturday. Must go to treehouse. Have fun. No, must go to school. Do lessons. School is good. We've got to stop it. I mean, what if it wrecks the school? Don't worry. I'm on it. Curly, there's a giant two-headed robot headed towards the school. Get pie face and meet me there. And bring your science projects. Going on, Dan? Yeah. What's all this about a two-headed robot? Robot, Pie Face, and you'll see in a minute. Curly, get your boomerang balls ready. Pie Face, load your pie-making machine. Oh, crumbs. Exactly. Lock and load, boys. <laughs> Me down. They work. They actually work. Oh, a bit too well. We've got him on the run, Dan. Don't be too sure. My part of the bot is fitted with the latest laser systems. No, it didn't. Your robot painted my treehouse pink. And if it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't be... Hang on. That's it. What's it? Look how we're arguing. All we've got to do is to get the bot to do the same. Hey, Walter Bot, aren't you late handing in your homework? Must go to classroom, hand in homework. No, go to treehouse, have fun. Yeah, you tell him, Denbot. Classroom. Treehouse. You are a complete suicide. You are a total swap. Ignoramus. Twist. Sus. Boy, that was a close thing. Yeah. Trouble is, that's the end of my homework project. Mine too. And I've got a reputation to think of. Stop moaning, Walter. If we start now, we just might get our robot fixed in time for school. Oh, where are Dennis and Walter? Haven't they brought their projects? No, Mrs. Creature. It brought us. I am Denbot. I like school. Have brought Apple for teacher. 